UFC Championship game about to kick off, everybody. T-Wall, CH, Chargers of Texas about to get this thing kicked off. Big shout out to everybody rocking with us as we get ready for this championship battle. Winner of this game is going to take on Shada and the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. As kickoff about to commence, everybody. Big shout out to everybody again tuning in. Here we go, folks. Championship game at its finest. So the Texans and CH football, 16 and one regular season record, as these guys have been special throughout the entire season. Let's see what he does here on his first drive. So hand it off here to Pierce. Pierce won't get much of anything there. No gain at all. And reaching out to a second down and 10 there. Damian Pierce stuffed up. And CJ Stroud comes out here in the tight set. Second and 10 here at the 14. Play action here for Stroud. Launches this up. Defense right there. And they get the good breakup. Brings it to a third down and 10. So third and 10 coming up here at the 14. Stroud back for the pass here again launches it up and that's going to be caught there by Shorter he will get the first down on the play at the 34 yard line new set of downs first and 10 here at the 34 him with the play action rolls out and Stroud is gonna launch this and wow he doesn't even put his hands up second down and ten coming up all he had to do was put the hands up and give it a shot at least good pass this time around Dalton Kincaid with the catch and that'll bring it to a third down and three here at the 41 yard line Stroud back and big hit on the play there will bring it to a fourth and three. So the punt unit coming out. So the Chargers will get the football for the first time today. First and 10 here at the 20 yard line. So Justin Herbert launching it out there and Allen with the catch gets about a four yard gain on the play. So we'll second down to six now coming up. Second and six here at the 24. Herbert again for the pass here, and that's going to be caught there by Gonzalez. And he will get knocked out at the 47. New set of downs once again. First and 10 coming up. Now here at the 47 yard line. Herbert back, launches it up, caught by Pop Pop. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk right now. Parham <laughs> gets the first down. At the 23 yard line. That's the man right there where you can't see six foot eight. You could throw the football pretty much anywhere in the end zone and he could be the first to get it. AKA untradeable, in my opinion, in Madden. First and 10 now coming up. And quick pass there to Eckler. And Eckler breaks the first tackle, can't get through the second, and it's going to be a five-yard gain on the play. So his first catch of the day today brings it to a second and five. Tight set here now for Herbert. And 
Eckler with the carry. Eckler with the first. That keeps going down to the nine-yard line. And a new set of downs once again. First and goal now at the nine. Rubber back. And he will throw it up there, and that's incomplete. Intended for Keenan Allen on that with his first incomplete pass of the day. We'll bring it to a second down and goal. Herber back again. And he will take off, and Justin Herbert will punch it in for the game's first touchdown. Team Walt getting it started. And it's a 7 nothing ball game. So Bradshaw gets it out there to the 25 yard line. So here comes Stroud, second time with the football. Gotta like what T-Walk goes out there to do, and a good job by the defense again. Brings it to a second and ten. Great job here by T-Walk, though. Just takes off here with Justin Herbert, and he is able to punch it in. So a second and ten coming up. Swing pass was there, decides to throw it the other way, and it's picked off by Woods. So Woods with the interception, and the Chargers are definitely lighting it up right now. On the defensive side, as they are jumping the gun across the board here against the Texans. Again, the top team in the league and the number one seed here in the AFC. Will we see another AFC or another number one team go down again. Second down and eight coming up here at the 28-yard line. And Herbert, oh man, he missed him. And he's gotta throw this football away and he will do just that, that's smart. So third down and eight here at the 28-yard line. out to the right side and nice pass right there gets it to Parham and he will get the first down of the play. So Donald Parham with a couple catches early today in a first and 10 coming up at the 11 yard line. My man Militant in the building good to see you here in the chat. First and 10 here at the 11. Herbert again back rolls out and gets the ball out in time bridge it to a second down and 10 coming up. So second and 10 here at the 11, under a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Herbert again back. And defense is gonna sandwich him up there, big play. And a third and 21 coming up. Good job on the defense again, just getting a ton of pressure out there. So a big third down play coming up. Hits him with the play act. And Herbert launches it up here, and that ball is gonna be broken up. That'll bring it to a fourth and 21. So, field goal unit gonna come out and try to put some more points on the board here. And almost gets blocked, but a flag on the play. It might be a roughing, and it is. So they will get a first down. First and 10 at the 11. Yeah. 
Hands it off here to Eckler and loses a yard this time around. Second down on 11 as we get ready to end this first quarter. Chargers and Texans right now about to cap off the first quarter here. And that'll do it. So T. Walt with a 7 0 lead right now over CH. As we start the second quarter. Second and 11 coming up here to 12. Herbert back, quick pass there to Eckler, and Austin Eckler's gonna get pushed forward just like that, and once again, punching in another Chargers touchdown. 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 Kick is up, and the kick is money. And we got a 14-0 ball game. T. Walt. Getting it done in this one so far in the first half. He has been excellent. So here come the Texans back to work again. Who well, again has been great throughout the season. Unlock Lion, unlock Lion. Press on Lady. Stroud hands it off here to Pierce. He'll break to the outside and then cuts it inside. Hard cut. There goes Damian Pierce. And the speed's not there, but he does get a big gain on the play. Best run of the day for Damian Pierce. And the first and 10 here at the 45. 19 targets. Run set again, and Pierce with another carry. And just dancing his way back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Second and 10. with the play action and corner route up beautiful play there to shorter and he is gonna punch in a much needed Texas touchdown, touchdown. very much needed and he gets the extra point as well so no doubt about it he needed that one Way to respond for CH. And it's now a 14 to seven ball game. Corner route up there and that's gonna be caught at the 49 yard line. A new set of downs once again. Well, Gonzalez on the catch there. Gets him a new set of downs. That's his second catch of the day. Hands it off here to Eckler, and Eckler follows the blockers and then eventually gets away from them. But it is a nine and a half yard gain on the play. Second down and inches coming up. Second and inches for Herbert. Quick pass. And Johnson will get the first down on the play at the 36 yard line. First and 10. Now here at the 36. Eckler with the carry. And Eckler will finally go down for about a yard on the play. So second and nine here at the 34. They are also out field goal range. JJ Watt on the left side of the line on the defensive side. And look at Anderson getting in there, but he does get the ball out in time. And Eckler will bring it down to a third down and one here at the 27 yard line. So third down coming up. As Herber comes out here in the pack set. And he might launch it up. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. I mean, he had Johnston open, too. 
But if you go back and take a look at it, he definitely had Donald Parham on the streak route also. Take a look at Parham. Wide open on that streak route. That's a touchdown. But it is a first and 10 at the 10. And Herbert again back for the pass here. Richard can't get there, but Herbert can, and he'll get down at the three-yard line, a seven-yard gain. Second down and three coming up. 237 remaining in the first half of action. And a second and three. Herbert back again, rolls out. And Herbert is trying hard here, and that's a flag. It's going to be a rough in the passer. What call was that? First and goal at the one. Definitely have to go back and take a look at that. And he's going to run this in easily for the touchdown, but... Wow. I tell you what, guys, I got to go back to take a look at that real quick. I know we didn't get excited about the score there, but it is now a 21-7 lead. But I'm going to go back to the play before and see where this came from. He, he didn't. It, it just looked like he got touched, and it called the rough of the passer on the play. Wow. He just got touched. He didn't even get knocked down, and they called the rough and the passer on that play. That was unreal. First and 10 at the 25. As Pierce will gain about five or six on the play. They called it five officially. Brings it now to a second down at five. This is the last touchdown, though, however, as we hit the two-minute warning. T. Walt up 14 points. Panther 11. Panther 11. Milton's second call, ref. Wow. Second and five. Launches this up here. And big play right there. Bradshaw with the catch. He'll get another first down here at the 42-yard line. So first and ten coming up. Stroud again back. Quick pass outside here to Dorsett. And he'll get knocked down for about a seven-yard gain on the play. Second down and three coming up. So second and three, and he'll go down for the count out. He'll bring it out to a third down and 12 now. So third down and 12. Here at the 45-yard line. Stroud again back for the pass. Plenty of time. Defense is right there, but Dorsett will get the catch. And that'll be a big first down play indeed. So first and 10 now here at the 28-yard line. Stroud back again here. 22 seconds left. He'll go down. And the clock will stop there at 21 seconds remaining. Second down and 10 coming up here at the 28. So a second and 10. And a quick pass up again, and that's caught. And another timeout going to be called. Well, first timeout, we should say, with 18 seconds remaining. First down and goal coming up now at the 10-yard line. T. Walt's defense is trying to get some sort of stop here. And doesn't look like he's going to get it here yet. It's going to be another timeout call with 13 seconds remaining. A second and goal at the one-yard line. So second down and goal coming up. Stroud again here in the guns. Going to hand it off here to Pierce. And Pierce will get stuffed. And the final timeout called will bring it to a third and goal at the one-yard line. Back for the pass here. 
And that is going to be caught. What a play right there. Punch him in the touchdown. And that is a huge deal now. So 21 to 14 with five seconds left here in the first half. Charges with a seven point lead. Wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to get that off, but he did. And you can't throw it any better than that. So one more play coming up before the end of the half here. Gonna hand it off here to Eckler. Eckler will get a solid block there, and that's gonna do it here for the first half, folks. 21 to 14 game charges on top by seven. And right now, you gotta think, T Walt playing a solid game, solid first half against a top player. As far as record-wise in the league, in the Texans. And the Chargers are going to get the football to start the third quarter. On the other side, you got the Texans and again, CM, CH, excuse me. And despite not playing the best half, he's only down seven points. But the Chargers will get the football to start this third quarter. So far, so good in this ball game. Just a seven-point game. First and ten here at the 25. Herbert in the gun set here, back for the pass. Plenty of times, going to launch this up. Defense almost gets there for the pick. And that'll bring it out to a second down and 10. Second and 10 here at the 25-yard line. 6.57 left. Well, he takes three seconds off of the clock. Herbert again back. Plenty of time here. He's going to be caught inside by Johnston. He'll get the first down and then some. If he didn't have somebody in the way, he might have took that to the crib. But nonetheless... It is a first and 10 midfield at the 50 yard line. 6.30 remaining here in the third. Trip set here for Herbert. Back again for the pass. Rolls out to the right side. He's got the in route there. Decides to throw it the other way. Gonzalez with the catch. He's gonna keep going past the 10, five, and he will punch it in for a big time touchdown for the Chargers. t -Wall once again. And that is almost blocked. And it's back to a 14 point game. 28 to 14. Here in this AFC championship. And let me get back to it. I do apologize for that. And it's good I did get back to it because he got a solid run back there down to the 44 yard line. But we'll, we'll get back to the replay though. Because that was crazy. He's able to make that catch and what a job by the Chargers. And here comes Kincaid and he'll get a first down on the play down to the 42 yard line. And once again, a new set of downs, first and 10 coming up. Get a 14 point game, trying to get back into the mix again. Are the Texans. TH back. Quick pass there. Caught. Gets another first here at the 30-yard line. First and 10 here. 534 remaining. Here in the third quarter. Winner of this game is going to take on the Niners. Play action here. Stroud's going to get the completion there to Kincaid yet again. 13 for 19 on the day for a buck 94 and two touchdowns. He's also got one interception on the day for CJ Stroud. Second and six here at the 25. Stroud again back for the pass. Good protection for a second. And finally gets knocked down at the 36-yard line. Big sack on the play there by Bosa. And a third and 16 here at the 36. So third down to 16. Stroud barking out the calls. Again, back for the pass. Plenty of time. And defense... We'll get in there regardless. Every time I say he's got a lot of time, there goes the blitz. 
And it's a fourth down to 16, and looks like the field goal unit's going to come out. And put some extra points on the board. Chip shot. Easy money. 28 to 17. So first and 10, and that's going to be caught right there by Johnston, and that'll get him another first down. First and 10 coming up. Ankler with the catch there. Stair, stair, stair. So second down and 14 coming up here at the 34-yard line. Herbert again back, and that's going to be caught there by Gonzalez. Gonzalez will get the first down here at the 49-yard line with 2.58 left here in this third quarter. Good game here so far. And the Chargers continue to move the ball methodically downfield, no problem. Herbert again back for the pass, plenty of time. That's going to be caught there by Eckler again off the crosser. And he comes out there with the punch mechanic, but it will not work out for him. And a new set of downs again here at the 33-yard line. First and 10 coming up. Another great job here by the Chargers getting in at least into field goal range. Comes out here in the bunch set to the left side of hash marks. T-Wall back for the pass again. And he almost gets that ball swatted. But a laser there to Gonzalez will get him a new set of downs once again. First and 10, out to 23. Allen in the slot, back for the pass. And that's going to be caught there by Eckler, and Eckler will get knocked down or only a one-yard gain on the play. Second down and nine at the 22-yard line. Clock continues to tick with 124 left here in the third quarter. Fantastic ball game here so far. It's an 11-point game for the Chargers, and they are trying to add to the equation. Herbert's going to roll out, and he will take off and get knocked down at the 15-yard line. Brings it to a third down and three now. 55 seconds left here to third. Again, winner of this game is going to take on the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. We will set up a time for that probably sometime tomorrow. As Herbert again back for the pass. Plenty of time. Launches it up. Back in the end zone. And there it is. Keenan Allen punching in a major touchdown. touchdown. Thirty-five to seventeen. The Chargers have been unstoppable. A great job today by T. Walt. He has been incredible in this game today. To take a quick look at the replay here once again, he just—it's a simple streak route, and Keenan Allen. Is just that dude just caught right in the middle. Beautiful play. So here comes Stroud. Back to work here. 27 seconds left. And looks like he will get the completion for a seven-yard gain. That puts him over 200 yards passing. And a second and three coming up. Dorsett's fourth catch of the day. Let's go now. Clock continues to tick here. Ten seconds left. So it should be the final play here of the quarter. Barring an incomplete pass. Stroud again back. Quickly gets the completion there to Bradshaw, and he leaves a second left as he goes out of bounds. First and 10 here at the 37. And actually, they will let that go ahead and tick off. That'll do it for the third quarter. Showtime and go time. Here in the fourth quarter, folks. 
Chargers, Texans, winner of this game, take on, take on the Niners in the Super Bowl. Who's going to get it done? First and 10 starting here at the 37 as we start the fourth quarter. And a quick inside route there to Shorter, and he will get the first down on the play. So a first and 10 coming up here at the 45-yard line. Shorter's fourth catch of the day. Stroud again back. And beautiful post play to the inside there to Bradshaw. And he'll get himself another first down at the 17-yard line. This is a great read right here. Hitting that inside route. And he likes what he's got going on here on the offensive side. First and 10 here at the 17. Stroud, quick flat play to the outside. Dorsett will get stuffed for no gain. Second and 10 here, 550 left in this ball game. Chargers with a 35 to 17 lead. The Texans still trying to fight for their right to party in the Super Bowl. And that's going to be caught there by Bradshaw. And there it is. The fight continues. Punching in another big touchdown. 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 So he's going so for he's the two-point conversion. And let's see if he goes for the swing pass. He will not. And he drops it. So it is a 35-23 lead. So a 12-point lead now. First and 10 coming up here at the 25-yard line. Texans continuing to fight here. The number one seed. They're trying to stay alive in this thing. It's still a 12-point game, though, but the Chargers, they, they are executing all across the board here today offensively. And he continued to execute as Johnston breaks that tackle, and he is knocked down to 45-yard line. 19 for 25 today with 314 yards and three touchdowns for Justin Herbert. He has been sensational. First and 10 here at the 45-yard line. Herbert again back. A lot of time here. He's going to try to cross her, and that is picked off. Bad play. He should have threw that away. And Petrie with the interception. That is a big deal indeed for this defense. So first and 10 coming up here at the 47-yard line. And that's the mistake right there that T-Walt doesn't want to make. Not in this quarter. Stroud again back. And the defense will get in there. And that is almost a tip drill pick. That'll bring it out to a second down and 10. Second and 10 here at the 47-yard line. Ends up with the play act again. Stroud will get the completion. And he gets out of bounds. Gets the first down at the 36. So that puts him in field goal range at least for Dorsett. Six catch of the day there for him. He's 10 yards a carry. Or a catch, we should say. First and 10. And he's going to try him, and that is going to be incomplete. So second down and 10 coming up. I kind of figured he was going to try Dorsett on that one. Second and 10. Here at the 36-yard line. Comes out now in a tight set. And Stroud again back for the pass. Defense is going to get in there. Bosa almost gets in there. And Pierce with the catch. Another first down here. For the Texans, 420s, make it a little less actually. 406 left here in the fourth after the rundown. One set. It's gonna launch this up, and that is caught there by Dorset punching in another touchdown. touchdown. Well, here come the Texans. Just like that, Lickety split, it's a five-point game. First and 10 coming up here at the 25-yard line. T. Wall cannot make mistakes in the fourth quarter like he just did a second ago. And that's a good try, good start. Gonzalez with the big play. That puts him in field goal range already. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. He can add to it. 
He's already up by five. He can make it at least eight. And if he can't get the conversion here for a first down, he definitely should think about just kicking a field goal. Hands it off here to Eckler, and we'll get knocked down for about a two-yard gain on the play. Second and eight coming up. And the crowd starting to go crazy here in Texas. With three minutes left here in the game. Five-point lead here for the Chargers. The away team continuing to drive downfield with ease. And the drag was open, and he couldn't get it off. As Anderson will get in there for the sack, it's a third and 16. Great pressure by the Texans on the edge. Rolls out, and that ball's gonna be broken up! And that'll force him to kick a field goal. So we just talked about it. 55 yard attempt, and he barely gets it through. It's an eight point ball game, 38 to 30. With 2.16 left in this ball game. CH football, the top in the AFC. Tops in the league at 16 and one, in danger of another number one seed going down in the championship games. Bradshaw is gonna run this out and he's got a lot of greenery here. He's gonna keep going and he will get knocked down to the 39 yard line, a solid run back. And here come the Texans once again. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. And CH right now, he is kind of cooking on the offensive side. Let's see what he can do here. First and 10 here at the 39. Stroud back for the pass. Flats there, decides to throw the drag to Bradshaw and gets an eight yard gain on the play. Second and two coming up as we hit the two minute warning in this thing. All three timeouts for both teams remaining. Here in the fourth quarter. Don't forget guys, we got one more game coming up later on tonight, 10, 15 p.m. We got the OMFL game of the week for week five. That'll be the final game of the evening tonight here on Snipes TV Gaming. Second and two, quick pass outside there to Pierce, and he'll get the first down here at the 49-yard line. First and 10 coming up. Bunch set here to the right side. Stroud back, quick pass there to Kikade. He'll get the first down on the play at the 35-yard line. So he's in field goal range at least, but he needs eight points. Field goal won't cut it. First and 10 here at the 35-yard line. Stroud in the gun set. Getting back for the pass. Quick flat again. Caught by Dorsett. And he will get tackled out of bounds with a buck 32 left in this ball game. Second and three after the seven-yard gain here at the 28. Stroud again back. Four-man rush. Defense can't get there. Pierce with another catch. He'll step out of bounds, but not before getting the first. Now at the 25-yard line. Fourth catch there for Damian Pierce, a first and 10 coming up at the 25. Buck 27 remaining in the ball game. And back for the pass here for Stroud. Wide open, there he is! Punches in a much needed touchdown! He needs the two point conversion to tie it. With 123 left. 38 to 36. The onside kick coming. All three timeouts remaining. And never mind, somebody called the timeout. It's actually the Chargers. And he will not be able to get it, but he still has three timeouts remaining. So you got to keep that in mind as well. So first and 10 here at the 49. Two point lead here for the Chargers. And he's going to come out passing. Interesting. He's going to get the catch here and 
Almost breaks through that tackle. It's going to be a second and one. That's interesting. Second and one coming up. It doesn't look like he's going to call a timeout yet. He doesn't want to use them just yet. And that's going to kind of put him in field goal range here with a minute remaining. What a game. Great finish here. Herbert again back. Quick pass outside. And that's caught. He does get the first. So the first time out called here by the Texans. First and 10 here at the 38-yard line. Eckler with the carry here. He rolls out to the other side. They're trying to hit the punch mechanic in. And no gain on the play. Bridging out to a second down and 10. Anti-social Drew, thank you so much for the follow. Here on Snipes TV Gaming. Appreciate your viewership and welcome to Snipes Nation. Snipes Nation. And welcome the Chargers to the Super Bowl. He can't stop the clock much more. Matter of fact, he can't stop the clock hardly at all. The Chargers look like they are going to move on to the bowl. They'll be squaring off against the Niners. What a finish in this one. So we saw the NFC lose their number one seed with the Chicago Bears. And it looks like now we are going to see the number one seed in football, period. Get knocked out in the AFC Championship. What a job today by the Chargers as they win this game 38 to 36. Congratulations, the Chargers and T-Walt move on to the Super Bowl. A great game here today. An absolute phenomenal finish in this game. But obviously, there can only be one winner in this one. I tell you what, uh, and CH, big shout out to you in the chat right now coming in here as well, too. That rough in the passer was a killer. There's no doubt. It definitely was. It definitely was a killer. No doubt about it. That was a tough one. Uh, but, man, what a finish in this game, guys. What a finish. Final count of this one, 38-36. to t Wall and the Chargers move on to the bowl. They'll square off against the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. So it will be officially Shotta and the 49ers, t Wall and the Chargers. We will keep you guys posted as far as the time and when it's going to go down. Uh, we'll see when they are going to be available for it. But with that being said, guys, we got one more game tonight here. Uh, coming up next at 10.15 p.m., we got one more game brewing up. It is going to be a fantastic game as well for the OMFL. So stay tuned for that one, guys. And definitely get back here. If you are just tuning in here, if you've seen us here for the first time today, we do multiple leagues. But I'm going to tell you right now, this Super Bowl is coming up for the MFL. It is going to be crazy. I'm telling you all right, right now. So keep it locked here on Snipes TV Gaming. The Super Bowl will be coming up. We'll keep you guys posted when it's going to happen. I don't think it's happening tonight. More than, Matter of fact, I know it's not because uh, I can't do no more games tonight. Uh, I got one more game, then I'm done. <laughs> so with that being said, everybody, it is your boy Snipes. We'll see you back uh, roughly in around 30 minutes exactly, actually. In about 30 minutes, we'll be back for the final game of the week. All right, we're out of here, guys. We'll catch you in a bit. We're out of here, y'all. Slide, folks.